Hello, everybody. Listen, um, they've passed some serious laws, and uh, they say that they're expecting this corona thing to last for up to three, three months. So don't be surprised if we have medical martial law. Uh, if they order everybody to stay home, the economy is going to collapse. There's not going to be any, people are not working, you know. Now, what I think they're going to do is that they are going to blame all this on our not worshiping the Lord properly. And I'm not talking about the, uh, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I'm not talking about the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I'm talking about the other Lord, the God of this world. But um, I have a feeling the you-know-whos, uh, the word starts with a J and rhymes with news, but um, I have a feeling that um, they're going to say that all this is happening, coming upon us for the curse of God because... Well, we're not worshiping a hymn properly that we need to build a temple and start doing animal sacrifices. And we need to in, in implement and enforce, well, the Noahide laws, N-O-A-H-I-D-E. Um, check them out if you don't know what it is. And the very first law, every Christian is guilty of a capital offense of the first law since they believe that Jesus Christ is God come in the flesh, 1 Timothy 3.16. Um, capital crime as in punishable by death, method of execution, beheading. And this law is on the books. Do you know that the state of Georgia passed a law stating that they could do beheading as a method of execution? And... Hey, let's face it, you can uh, use the um, organs for organ transplants when you execute somebody by beheading. Um, I've never heard of anybody doing a brain transplant, but, uh, you know. So, don't be surprised if the whole ball of wax goes down the tubes and uh, they want to build a temple for their messiah. And do not be confused that the uh, millennial temple in Ezekiel is the same thing as what the you-know-whos want to build. It's not. It's not. One is when Christ is king, and the other is when the Antichrist is going to be king, at least for a very, very short period of time. So... That's uh, that's what I think they're going to do. Martial law, medical martial law, quarantines. Um, they'll probably grab people, uh, patriots and Christians, and put you away saying that you're infected when you're not, get you out of the way. And Jesus said, if you deny him before men, he would deny you before the Father and his angels. And if you don't know anything what I'm talking about, I suggest you get yourself a old King James and read it from cover to cover while you still have time. I have a feeling it's going to be illegal very shortly. And uh, the future of the church is going to be the wilderness, people. I mean, there's no place in this world for true, blood-washed, Bible-believing Christians just there's nowhere for them and uh, that would be perfect you know please come at three o'clock in the morning and haul off the Christians to a camp yeah, saying oh yeah they're infected with this disease and then they you know say uh, well the, this disease is this plague is coming upon us because well we're we're not worshiping with the temple properly we need to build the temple. Well, the temple's for the Antichrist, the sin, man of sin, the son of perdition, the beast. It's not for Christ. Christ said, it is finished. 
So, what can I tell you? Um, I've pretty much given up on Bright Eon as my backup channel. I have 500 and something videos on Bright Eon, but I'm just not going to load anything new. I mean, I load something new, and it I get two or three views. They're, they're hiding my work. But... Um, Alex Jones gets plenty of uh, coverage on Bright Eon. Uh, but I am on BitChute. And I am still loading on BitChute. I don't know how long they're going to be up either. They're going to they're gonna probably scrub the internet. And the reason they'll give is that they don't want people giving out fake medical information. You know how dangerous that is. So, so we got to block the internet. Everything that they're doing in China, they'll do here. So, all right. Well, I wanted to keep this short. And uh, just remember something. If you're offended in Jesus, he's going to be offended in you. And uh, just remember something. People that go to these demon nominational churches, they're going to be your enemy. They're going to be the ones that turn you in. They're the ones that are going to have you put to death because they don't know Christ and they don't know the Father. They know the preachers that are 501c3, IRS-approved, tax-exempt state corporations. That's what they are. They're not churches. They're just a business with the name church in it. And uh, they want you to believe in God just enough to pay that tithe. Of course, all the other laws were nailed to the cross, but not the tithe law. No, no, no. You got to pay your tithes. At least that's what they tell you. So, no, those people are the enemy. Only a remnant are going to uh, make it to the end, you know. When the persecution starts coming, the churches are going to be empty. You watch. Uh, at least the real, the real remnant. There's going to be a revival among, among the real remnant, but it's going to be small. And uh, just remember, when you're... Well, let's take a look. All right, let's take a look at Mark 13. Oh, I guess we'll start in verse 9. All right, let's read the whole thing. Mark 13 is a parallel to Matthew 24. Verse 1. Mark 13, 1. And as he went out of the temple, Jesus, right, one of his disciples said unto him, Master, see what manner of stones and what buildings are here? And Jesus answering said unto them, Seest thou these great buildings? There shall not be one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. So when the you-know-whos tell you that the wailing wall was part of the temple, you got a choice. You could either believe the you-know-whos or you could believe Jesus. The wailing wall is not part of the temple. Jesus said that every stone would be thrown down. Verse 3, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, over against the temple, Peter and James and John and Andrew asked him privately, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign when all these things shall be fulfilled? And Jesus answering them began to say, Take heed, lest any man deceive you. Take heed, pay attention, lest any man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And when ye... Hear of wars and rumors of war, be ye not troubled, for such things must needs be, but the end shall not be yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be earthquakes in diverse places, Utah, anyone, among many others, and there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginnings of sorrows. But take heed to yourselves, for they shall deliver you up to councils and in the synagogues. 
and in the synagogues. Now, who hangs out in the synagogues? And in the synagogues ye shall be beaten, and ye shall be brought before rulers and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them. And the gospel must first be published among all nations. But when they shall lead you and deliver you up, take no thought beforehand what ye shall speak. In other words, don't think about what you're going to say to them when you're brought to the council. Neither do ye premeditate, but whatsoever shall be given you in that hour, that speak ye, for it is not ye that speak, but the Holy Ghost. People, that's, that's to let you know that you are on your way to the kingdom. When the, when the Holy Ghost speaks through you, you know that's, that's the seal of God, people. That's, that's the kingdom coming. You're, that means you're, that's your ticket into the, uh, the heavenly kingdom. And no, we're not talking, talking about uh, Disney's Magic Kingdom and Mickey Mouse. No. Yeah, that's the Mickey Mouse kingdom. But uh, the kingdom of God. Verse 12. Now the brother shall portray the brother to death and the father of the son, and children shall rise up against their parents and shall cause them to be put to death. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. They already hate the name of Jesus. That's why they call they they try to convince convince you that it's Yeshua. And you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Hmm. So and you could keep reading. But, uh, oh boy. Yep, read Matthew 13. Read Matthew 24. Mark 13, Matthew 24. It tells you right here. This is it, people. All right, well, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and, the, and His only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ. In His precious name, amen.